baddie, quote unquote. It's like uh, every character that you see in cutscenes ends up being a douche, so yeah. <laughs> Traffic won't be bad. Dinner reservations are at eight. Oh, I can't believe how hard it's raining. We sure picked a great day to celebrate my birthday. Oh, it's just a little rain. It'll dry. Anyway, we'll be there in no time. Oh no, the main character is dead. No! Okay. Here, take this. What's this? This is who you have to kill. Four guys, that's it? I just have to hunt down these four guys and, and that's it. I finally get out of here. I finally get to see her again. Yes, but it won't be that easy. These four are generals in Lucifer's army. They're extremely powerful and well guarded by their minion hordes. I can handle them all, but why has it taken this long? What did I do wrong? Ask him what I did. Ask him why he thinks I deserve this. He didn't say. I was sent to offer you this chance, and that is all. He has his reasons, and he doesn't have to explain them to anyone. Do this, and you will be pure. I was pure? So you say. I'm not here to debate. Do this, and you're free to be with your Catherine again. You were chosen because of your abilities. You've managed to survive this long, and that is impressive. This is what has set you apart from the others. And he thinks that you're the only one capable of pulling it off. Why doesn't he just take care of this? Why can't you do it? If he gets involved, the assault we're hoping to prevent might be launched prematurely. And of course, we want to avoid that at all costs. We think they're going to attack soon. He wants you to stop them before they are poised to strike. He wants the profile kept low. So you're going to have to move quickly. Kill the generals, and Lucifer's armies will retreat. Either you take this or you don't. If you don't, I can't tell you when we'll speak again. I know you've been here for a while, and I assume you want to leave. Your time has come. Take it or leave it. <sighs> okay. Good. Do you need weapons? I've survived this long, haven't I? I know where to get weapons. Good. This will help. Drink it. It will help you survive. Now keep that scroll. Use it as your guide and destroy everything that moves. You must move quickly. You must kill the generals before they organize for an attack. We shall speak again soon. Yeah, so the guy you play as, you know, as you saw in the intro, there was a car crash and both him and his girlfriend died. He was trapped in, he became trapped in purgatory, you know, fighting 
for freedom to reunite with his fiance or whatever, you know. And uh, yeah, he was just been contracted by that dude. You know, let's get a yeah, yeah, and uh, stuff. And yeah, like I, ah man, it's weird seeing all this empty. But this, this, uh, the black tarot card thing in me jiggers is like yeah, uh, yeah. It's a bunch of cards that you get from doing completing certain objectives during every mission like for example here a card unlocking status says you know it says finish the level yeah there is one mission in which and it's one of the longest missions in the game you have to like uh... yeah uh, you have to there's one secret yeah, you have to collect every- find every secret, and one secret is at the beginning of the game, uh, before- yeah, but it's behind a locked wall door thingamajigger that gets lowered. After you reach the end of the mission, when you can end the mission, uh, every one of those doors and walls that lower, uh, they get lowered. And then you have to back th backtrack through the entire mission back to the beginning. Yeah, so it's like, uh, yeah, and it's one of the longest missions in the game also. And it's actually, it's this. It's the third mission in Act 2, actually. If I remember correctly, yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the third mission in Act 2. It's one of the longest missions in the game, and, uh... Yeah, but I'm gonna be. I'm not gonna be showing the fake ending and like stuff. And I prob I might replay this on trauma later on, but uh, yeah. At the moment, I'm just gonna be playing through the game. And, uh, basically play through and, uh, you know, uh, the, yeah. Because, uh, the expansion takes place right after this game and it, yeah. So, the, uh, the, when it said, like, painkiller's true story on trauma difficulty, that's a bold-faced lie because, you know, they added that before they made... The official expansion, which takes place after this mission here. Yeah. So, yeah, anyway, I'm gonna start the first mission level or level in chapter one in the cemetery. And yes, also, this game features a metal soundtrack. Actually, I might just crank this up a little. I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna be playing the first mission now. Please don't break game, I'm just gonna check. Yes, my mic is... Uh, yeah, my mic is... Oh, hi! Sis! You're gonna be watching me playing a shoot shooter game, you know? It's not gonna be World of Warcraft, because, yeah, I I have exported, like, the first part of, like, yeah, of, like, a series that I gonna be posting yeah of when I play as a what's it called 
a uh, Tauren Shaman. But yeah, like I said, they exported that video over to my YouTube in order to preserve it so it doesn't just disappear because that's what happens on Twitch if at all either. Yeah. But anyway, I'm gonna continue playing. Hopefully, yes, it didn't break. So now I'm gonna continue. So like I said, this game features a metal soundtrack and uh, hopefully there's game sound. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of... Yeah, it's just this. I mean... I don't know... Wait, no. Yeah, and there's ragdoll physics, so you can have, like, like if you, I do this. No, wait. Bloop. Yeah. So, enemies fly in this game. Like, a shotgun blast can, like, launch them. Like... Wait. Yeah. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, I'm gonna stop messing around now. Yeah. Die. This is the first mission and I, I like, took damage during the first part, which is unacceptable, actually, because, yeah, this, I mean, it's, I've played this game so many times now, it's like, like I said before, the first time I played this, I was like nine years old, yeah, just gonna, Okay. Yeah. yeah, so I'm gonna be exporting these two. Is the game too loud? Like, is it drowning out my voice? Yeah, there's a secret thing up there. I'm gonna try and collect as many secrets as possible. Now, because I'm a completionist, oh come on, yeah there are also a couple creepy missions in this game, like uh, the first mission of the expansion uh, takes place in an orphanage, yeah, I still like, when I first played that mission I, oh no. But yeah, it's that's gonna be like a couple of streams from now, so that's yeah. Oh yeah, backflips and flips. Yeah. Oh yeah, and these, uh, yeah, those, that hag witch thingy that just, uh, just killed, they make the screen go dark, yeah, uh, and yeah, slightly annoying, but it's like, whenever you see one of those, Kill them immediately. It's... Oh, 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 yeah, and also, is there 
Like... Real type... Wait, is it updating on my phone? Okay, yeah, you haven't typed anything, okay. Just wanted to check. Yeah, I was just wanted to check. Yeah, can you answer, uh, like, is the game too loud? So I'm just gonna have to, uh... Okay. Good. Yeah, and I'm... Gonna be collecting as many coins as possible because... It costs... Gold to place... Oh yeah, I don't know if you watched... I think you joined afterwards, but there's like a, you get like cards that you can place that gives you uh, abilities and stuff. They cost gold that you find throughout the missions. So yeah, I'm gonna be destroying all objects. There are even uh, like unlock requirements in some mission. In like the next mission, there's gonna be a requirement to destroy every object in the mission to unlock it, the card, yeah, so, there's gonna be a lot of me running around destroying objects, because it's needed. Is there, by the way, is there stream lag or something? Oh yeah, these. Because I noticed uh, during. Uh, okay, I noticed during my one of my earlier streams uh, I noticed that uh, I had the bitrate a little too high on my so it lagged on my end so I lowered the bitrate a little so it shouldn't at least on my end if I were to check but I can't really check because I'm not playing a game that uh, yeah, this game is really finicky, like I said. I have to pause the game also if I want to check. Unless it's on... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, also, this is Demon Morph. Uh, every time you gather 66 souls... Yeah, you know, uh, 66 because... Yeah. I don't know if you saw the intro, but, uh, yeah, uh, you're, yeah, basically, 
playing a guy that, uh... Uh, that, uh... Dies in a car crash together with his fiance, and uh, his fiance goes to heaven while uh, uh, the guy you play as g uh, gets stuck in purgatory, uh, killing, uh, you know, and has basically been killing demons for a while. Yeah. Treating this like a let's play. I mean, I mean, yeah, that's basically because. been quick enough I could have jumped over before the uh, walls rose up and then uh, there would have been a secret if I remember correctly uh, and uh, yeah the way I would have returned would be through a portal that would have opened but yeah I, I failed And also, those, uh, well, I mean, I killed every one of them, but those uh, shield-wielding guys, they uh, come in two variants. There's gonna be another variant later on, or like, just in uh, the third mission that's gonna do something different. But this variant that I just killed off, apparently, uh, uh, they chop these guys head off and they do a whirlwind spin with their swords yeah these skeletal uh, knights or whatever I mean they're pretty sure they're just called skeletons or something but yeah this is a big guy who's not that dangerous. Oh yeah, and also these witches can slap you, and uh, when they do that, uh, they, the screen turns uh, 
dark, like, yeah. It's like someone turned off the lights, basically. I'm gonna Yeah, so as you can see the Now that's the end of the mission, but if I exit every door is gonna open basically so and this is gonna happen during every mission and this is also a thing that uh, because in, like I said earlier there is that one mission mission 3 in chapter 2 I think uh, in which that's one of the longest missions in the game oh wait this is not open what the fuck why why is that not open I mean it doesn't matter because you know <laughs> but uh, still uh, yeah I'm just gonna be checking for secrets yeah but anyway uh, that was, like I said that one mission which uh, to unlock the card you need to find every secret and uh, it's also one of the longest missions in the game but uh, there is one secret at the beginning behind the locked door that only opens up when you reach the end when this portal pops up, basically. That's when the door unlocks and then you have to backtrack through the entire level. <laughs> In order to get that secret, yeah. It's uh, pretty fun. Because you basically get to walk a tightrope. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, you basically have to walk a tightrope, basically, and, uh, you know, not fall down and die when you backtrack, so, yeah, it's, yeah, it's really fun. Anyway, uh, I think I'm gonna be playing, like, like, the first two chapters. Ah, uh, maybe not the first two chapters, but, like, I'm gonna be playing, like, I'm gonna end it at this level, or like, I'm gonna be playing this level, and then I'm gonna... Maybe I'm just gonna do this, and then just, like, chop it, like, in... Because I can do this in, like, I mean, it's gonna take, like, I don't know, four hours? I could probably get to this part in, like, four hours.